There are times when we need to pass data between two components that are not closely connected to each other. In those scenarios, it is a good idea to use a service for communication. Let's take a look at what we're going to be building today and how we can use a service to pass data from one component to another. We have a basic view here with the root app component and inside we have a sidebar component that expands and reveals a list of menus and on the right side we have a simple page component and inside that component we have another component called add items component. This component has a button and every time we click on this button, we want to send a message to the sidebar menu and update the menu with the new item that came from the add item component. To achieve this, we will use a service with a subject and a subject is basically an observable that allows values to be multicasted to multiple observers. And this is how we will subscribe to that observable in our side menu and grab the data that will be passed from the add item component and push that new data into our menu items array. Now let's head over to our VS code and start developing this. Let's dive straight into the service. Now we're going to create a new subject and it's going to expect a string and don't forget to import the subject from RxJS. Next, we're going to create the on item added observable to which we can subscribe so we can get the changes. Next, we're going to create a method called add item and we're going to call this every time we want to add a new value to the stream. And we'll do that with the on item added dot next and we're going to pass in the item here as data. Now that's it for our service. We can move on to the add item component and in the components template, we're going to create a button with the add item method on click. Moving on to the components class, we will create an items array. Next, we will set up the shared data service in the constructor of this component. And then on the click method, we're going to randomly choose one item from the array. And we're going to call the shared data service add item. And we're going to pass in the randomly chosen item from the array. And last thing we need to do is go to our sidebar component and subscribe to those changes so that we can display the new menu items. Now here's a glance at the sidebar components templates. We have a toggle for the sidebar and we have a list of static menus. And for our dynamic menu items, we have an ng4 loop looping through the items that we're gonna be passing from the uh, add items component. Now in the sidebar component class, we have a toggle that I used to toggle the menu. So the menu will pop in and out. Next, we have a menu items. This is the array that will contain all the data being pushed from the add items component. And next, we're going to create a private destroy subject. And we're going to use this to unsubscribe from the observable and prevent memory leaks. In this particular app, there is no risk if we don't unsubscribe because the lifetime of the sidebar component is the same as the lifetime of the app itself. But generally, it is a good idea and a good practice to unsubscribe from your observables. And you'll see how to do this in the code below. Now, in our constructor, we're going to set up our shared data service and then on ngin init we're going to subscribe to the on items added observable and this is where we will pipe that and we will use the take until operator and we're gonna pass here the destroy subject and now on ng destroy we will stop the subscription with calling destroy.next and then destroy.complete now we can just subscribe to the changes and push the items to our menu items array let's head over to our browser and test this as you can see every time we click on the add new items button there's a new item that pops into the menu on the left and this is how you use a service to pass data between two components thanks everyone for watching hope you enjoyed post your comments questions and suggestions down below and i'll see you in the next one